I'm Wes Newsom with LED. Today we're going to take a two-dimensional sinus acquisition using the RayScan Alpha Expert. But before we do that, let's get the computer side taken care of first. Before we position our patient in the RayScan for the panoramic acquisition, we first want to get the computer side ready. So in order to do that from LED imaging, I'm going to click on the RayScan panoramic icon, which initially gives us a window to choose between panoramic and cephalometric imaging. In this instance, I'm going to choose panoramic. And then this will launch the RayScan acquisition icon. The first window gives patient information, and for panoramic and cephalometric imaging, it's just listing the patient's name as bridged capture, but it is keeping the patient's image in their account. So we can simply click OK, and you'll notice that the machine is initializing. So if the machine was not reset to a home position prior to going into this interface, the machine will actually reset itself for you. So it's unnecessary to click reset after the previous acquisition. Once we're in this interface, we have options to choose our patient type from a child setting to a small, medium, or large adult. And you'll notice that it defaulted to the medium adult patient once we came into the interface. If these preset sizes are not adequate for you, you can change them using the manual adjustments of KV and MA in the lower left corner. The middle section of this window is our protocol options. This window will default to the standard panoramic image option, which we see here, and it will take your typical panoramic image. The option to the right gives you the ability to do segmented pan images. By clicking this icon, you have a slightly different interface that lets you select or deselect areas that you'd actually like to have imaged. So if you did not need the TMJ in this image, we could gray that out. So the machine will still do the full rotation around the patient, but it's only going to radiate the areas that are listed in white rather than in gray. Below the segmented pan option, we have the ability to do a two-dimensional sinus shot, which would require a slightly different chin rest within the machine and slightly different positioning for the patient, but it still will do the similar rotation around the patient. To the left is a two-dimensional TMJ acquisition option, and what this would let you do is take one rotation around the patient or two rotations around the patient. If you chose to do two rotations, it would actually put your patient's right joint open and closed next to each other and their left joint open and closed next to each other. Below the TMJ option is an external right wing option. And then to the right of that is an orthogonal pan option. And the orthogonal pan basically makes a slightly slower rotation around the patient's teeth. It doesn't get all of the TM joints in the image, but it does reduce some of the overlap in the image. To the right of that, in the orange section, at the top, we have the ability to turn off and on our positioning lasers. We have the ability to put the machine into a ready position. And then we can cancel out of this window if we choose. Once we have our patient positioned, Using our positioning lasers and the appropriate chin rests, we would then click ready. The machine would move into a ready position. The LED above the x-ray generator would turn from blue to green. And then once it's green, that indicates that when the user presses the exposure switch and holds it down, that LED will change to yellow and actually begin to emit radiation and acquire an image. Now we're going to position the patient for the 2D sinus acquisition. JP, if you would step forward, please and place your chin on the chin rest, and you're not actually gonna bite on the bite stick. You're just gonna let the, the soft tissue of your skin butt up against it, just so that we know that you're not too far forward or too far back in the machine. And then we'll place your hands on the orange ring underneath the chin rest to give yourself a little bit of stability. I'm gonna turn our positioning lasers on, and I'm gonna look at our mid-sagittal plane laser, which is the vertical laser going through the middle of the patient's face. And I'm gonna line him up, and then once that gets lined up, I'm gonna turn the temple supports in to help the patient stabilize where they need to be in the machine. And now that we have the patient positioned, I'm going to press the ready button on the touch screen, the remote, or the computer screen, and then we'll step out and take the acquisition. And now we're ready to acquire the image. So I'm going to press and hold the exposure button for the full rotation. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at 844-952-7327 or online at www.ledental.com.